I'm hinting there's a possibility of a commission of inquiry. That was State Minister Joseph Harmon confirming that there is a possibility that President David Granger will keep his word and establish a COI into the extrajudicial killings. Every year there is some ceremony that marks it. And every year there's a ceremony, these emotions rise up again. And so what the president was saying as the leader of the opposition, he was calling on the government to do something about it. Now he's president and he's in a position to do something about it. And I want to assure you that he will do something about it. That's what he said. And when the president says something, he means it. Harmon reminded that a period of interest to the president is from the early 2000s up to 2008. The state minister expressed that the period is not that long ago and that there will still be information available for a COI. This period is not so long ago. There are still people who are out there who were never called upon to give a statement. Families who are there who just heard that something happened and this child or the daughter or the cousin or the family disappeared. So something has to be done about it. We have to bring closure to these wounds that were opened up. This is not the first time government spokespersons teased the public about setting up a COI into the extrajudicial killings. While in opposition, President Granger in 2014 had tabled a motion in the National Assembly for the establishment of a COI to investigate the incidents of criminal violence in Guyana from 2004 to 2010. He campaigned on this issue and made several promises to have the COI established. Last year, President Granger reiterated that this issue is high on his agenda as the families of those who have been killed deserve justice and closure. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.